You're watching Good Morning Suncoast at 5. Good morning, 5 o'clock now. I'm Ray Collins. And I'm Stephanie Webb. Welcome to Thursday morning, February the 15th. Someone seems a little sleepy. He may have stayed up <laughs> a little past his bedtime last night, right? That's so right. So a great show, though. Certainly did. Yesterday, there was a, a serious shooting, though, in South Florida. The police have arrested now a 19-year-old gunman. Maggie Rooley is live in Broward County. Maggie? Good morning. This is one of the deadliest mass shootings in modern U.S. history. And now investigators here in Parkland are talking to students, trying to learn more about the suspect and find a possible motive. Suspected shooter Nicholas Cruz. Look, or something. It's like clues as to why just hours earlier, the 19 year old opened fire inside his former high school. This video shows the terror inside the school. The audio too disturbing to broadcast. Uh, so when I took my headphones off, the alarm was going off, and I heard the shot, and then I saw the shooter run after Mr. Bice, and I saw Mr. Bice get shot. Students, some barely teenagers, hiding under desks, fearing for their lives. We were just like praying and crying and I don't know how we're alive. Somebody down the hall was screaming, like, help me, come save me. SWAT teams swarm the school. It went from the third floor to the second floor. Third. Mask on now. Parents desperate to contact their children. Students still looking for their friends. In the chaos, the shooter walks right out with the other students escaping. He was later arrested without incident. Police say Cruz was armed with an AR-15 rifle and was wearing a gas mask. The school says he was expelled for disciplinary reasons and faculty had been warned to not let him on campus. The school represented something to the shooter. His anger and revenge was vented on this school for either something that happened to him there when he was a student. That's unclear at this point. Schools closed here through the end of the week and the town's bringing in grief counselors for students starting this morning. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, Parkland, Florida. Maggie Rooley, ABC Maggie. News. Well, we spoke to a former student of Stoneman Douglas High School who now lives here in Sarasota. Our Erica Jackson has her story. The former student we spoke with says Stoneman Douglas High is one of the biggest high schools in Broward County with more than 3,000 students, and the school continues to grow. Ashley Clayton attended the school before moving here to the Sun Coast. She says the school now has additional buildings and added portable units. Clayton's family also owns a business about 10 minutes away from the school in Broward. She tells us it's shocking to see her alma mater as the subject of this deadly shooting, never imagining anything like this happening in her hometown. Even now, it would just be scary to think because there's so many areas where the shooter, I guess, could be. I could not imagine getting that text like the parents did from, you know, I think it was a school board saying like, you know, this high school's on lockdown and thinking like, oh my gosh, my child's there, like what do I do? Teachers say students hid in closets as shots were fired within Stoneman Douglas. And of course, this story continues to develop and we'll bring you those latest developments as they become available. Back to you. Parents from both Manatee and Sarasota counties received messages from their respective school superintendents. Even though there haven't been any threats against any local schools, Suncoast law enforcement will provide an increased presence in all local and middle schools today, local, middle, and high schools, I should say. All school principals and staff have been notified to be alert of any unusual activities. Parents were also reminded that there are counselors and professionals that students can speak with if they have a fear or anxiety in the wake of this tragic news. Now for the latest on this story, breaking news, plus your up-to-the-minute first alert forecast, just head over to the App Store. You can download our app. You can find it under WWSB or My Sun Coast. And now with no further delay at 5.04, here he is, folks. First alert meteorologist John Scalzi. Hey, John. Good morning to you. Uh, so we're looking at a pretty nice start to the day today, I think, in terms of our weather. We don't have much in the way of a problem, but I'll go ahead and check the fog box on your commute forecast, only because we've had some dense fog in inland locations along the spine of the state, and it's sort Certainly not out of the question that over the next couple of hours we can see that expand into areas around Wachula or Acadia or Ona, mostly inland locations. Don't think along the coast we have a big problem. Six to ten mile visibility is there now, but you go inland and you've got almost less than a quarter mile visibility uh, near Lake Okeechobee. And certainly that dense fog area could expand. We are not the only ones in a dense fog advisory, the state of Florida that is. 
the entire Gulf Coast just about is kind of socked in this morning. So it is a slow go for a lot of commuters there. Not for us, though. We'll look for daytime highs that again top out warmer than average. A little bit of cloud cover to start. More sunshine later on. Complete forecast in a minute. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. All right, now checking first alert traffic. Smooth sail so far in Manatee County. No issues to report as of this hour of the day. Checking farther south now into the northern half of Sarasota County. We'll check that map and see that it is mostly clear. No problems there. Of course, things will change as the morning commute picks up in earnest. The lower map shows us uh, all clear. And our final map for the south now, this is a new uh, enhanced map, and we'll see that is all clear as of 5.06 now on your Thursday morning. And a Venice man is behind bars at the Sarasota County Jail and is accused of possessing child pornography. Sarasota County detectives investigating internet crimes against children traced the computer's IP address of Edward McManus and found more than 100 files determined to be child pornography. Now he's currently charged with 40 felony counts of child porn possession and remains in jail without bond. There are still additional charges pending. Under a new plan, high school couples can get married if the girl is pregnant, an exception to the Florida child marriage ban. The Florida House approved a bill amending a Senate bill that denies anyone under 18 to get married in the state. Children ages 16 and 17 can marry with the consent of both children's parents. Under this new bill, if a pregnancy is involved, there is no minimum age for marriage as long as a judge approves that marriage license. A Broadway actor is among six men arrested in a prostitution sting in Naples. The police there say 53-year-old Patrick Bull offered money to an undercover police officer for sexual acts. Now, Bull most recently appeared in a Broadway version of Mamma Mia. He was also on TV shows Gossip Girl and The Good Wife. He was arrested alongside a Lee County judge, a pastor, and three others. Illegal immigrants from other states are being warned not to travel to Florida. Immigration arrests have increased faster here than any other state in the country. The warning comes after 17 Florida Sheriff Departments partnered with Immigration and Customs Enforcement, including the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. The travel advisory warns people to be ready to encounter immigration agents at airports, seaports, and bus stations. 507 right now on your Thursday morning. Still ahead, we'll have the latest in your first alert traffic and weather and we've got some tips to get you more money. Who doesn't want that? How to negotiate your salary with your boss. We've got those tips for you straight ahead. You are looking now at Parkland High School, the scene of yesterday's tragedy. 17 killed and a 19 year old former student who was expelled is now in custody. He'll be appearing in court later on today in Broward County. We'll have continuing coverage right here on ABC 7. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Alex Karras Lincoln's 40th anniversary sale. Please join us in welcoming the two newest additions to the Lincoln lineup, our flagship luxury sedan, the 2018 Lincoln Continental, and the totally redesigned 2018 Lincoln Navigator, featuring 450 horsepower, 10-speed transmission, and many best-in-class features. Alex Karras Lincoln, where our mission statement is consistent commitment, every client, every time. Located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. 
The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. It's been about a month, and I can honestly say I've seen the change in me. I went from being a depressed girl who didn't want help to this happy, caring girl who loves helping other people. I just really hope that people that went through what I went through get the help that they need because their story is important and they are loved. Thank you so much for everything. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So well inland this morning we have some serious fog forming, but here's the Lakewood Ranch webcam put into motion and you really don't see that happening in Lakewood Ranch. What, what you're seeing is a little bit of low cloudiness rolling in. That's what the, the lights are reflecting off of there and that's true kind of widespread across the area. We have that situation, but so far, fog has not been a big issue for us, unlike inland areas where it really is. And a lot of the state of Florida actually kind of socked in at this moment. If you started now and started driving north, you're going to encounter some dense fog once you get uh, north of Tampa Bay. 65 degrees, the air temperature, dew point value the same. That's 100% relative humidity, and that's why I say there's a potential this morning of a little bit of patchy fog forming, in particular in inland areas across the Sun Coast um, for the next couple of hours. Anyway, we'll go with the temperature at 7 a.m. about 65 about where we are now. Cloud cover kind of keeping things pretty stable and an easterly wind helping there as well. And then as we head into the afternoon, I think we're going to lose a lot of that cloud cover like yesterday. It's going to mix away and lead to a, a pretty nice afternoon. 78 degrees by the time we get to noon lunchtime hour and then around 3 o'clock 80 degrees as we head into the evening. It'll be beautiful, just like it was yesterday. Temperatures in the 70s once again. It'll be a, a very, very nice evening with little chance of rainfall and probably a pretty nice sunset as well. Taking a look at the future cast, we have some cloud cover around, as I mentioned, those low-hanging clouds. Probably have that again tomorrow morning as well. Over the next several mornings, we have a big ridge of high pressure located just to the north, and the winds out of the east continue to give us a situation where we develop those thin layers of low-hanging clouds trapped in a very stable environment. Now, as the sun kind of heats that atmosphere, it, it turns it over, it mixes it up, and we start to lose the clouds and get into more sunshine, and then we start to see our temperatures begin to spike. No reason to think that today will not be another one of those very warm afternoons that we have gotten used to this month, really. Uh, it, it's been an abnormally warm month across the entire state of Florida, so we will probably see that same sort of situation today. As far as rain chances go, you know, like yesterday, maybe a 10% chance, and really we didn't get a whole lot around yesterday, maybe a 10% chance in inland areas, but that would be about it. Otherwise, we stay dry, we stay warm, and we watch for that fog perhaps to build again tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow morning, we could see an onshore wind flow that could encourage the formation of a little sea fog possibly tomorrow morning. We'll see. We have a thunderstorm possibility today in the Ohio Valley, stretching back into the heartland. Other than that, things look pretty quiet across the nation. West wind coming in at about 5 to 10 this afternoon, switching to the northeast overnight tonight. And the forecast looks like this. We'll have a daytime high today. The top's out mild at 81, mild again tomorrow at 81, mild again on Saturday at 81, mild again on Sunday at 81. You get the picture. Except next week, we may warm even further into the mid 80s. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. We are liking those numbers. Let's take a look outside for your first alert traffic this morning. So far, not too many major uh, traffic snafus to see. The roads are running pretty smooth if you're heading into uh, Bradenton from Palmetto or Ellington. A little bit of a slowdown and some congestion going uh, northbound and southbound on 301 as well as State Road 70. Then in North Sarasota County, those roads are looking pretty good this morning. Just your usual traffic buildup starting at University Parkway, but other than that, looking good. And then if you're heading into South Sarasota County, those roads are looking pretty clear this morning and a little bit farther south. Again, those roads are looking good, too, if you're headed toward the Venice and Nokomis area. And even farther south, those roads are looking pretty good there, too, around the intersection of uh, 41 and uh, Murdoch right there. You'll see just a little bit of congestion starting. 
Well, speaking of all that traffic, if you do have to brave the morning rush hour, you know that some areas around town are more busier and a little more riskier to navigate. So all this week, our special report counting down the top five most dangerous intersections. And today we continue with the second most dangerous in the area. It is at 14th Street West and Cortez Road West. Marla Spence is there with the latest. Marla, good morning. On the Sun Coast, this intersection of 14th Street West and Cortez R Road West is in Bradenton, and it tops our third dangerous intersection, which was at State Road 70 and Lockwood Ridge Road, due to drivers having a higher crash rate at this area, is why it tops our third dangerous intersection. Now, this intersection also has more drivers daily than other intersections that we've been mentioning all week. 14th Street West and Cortez Road West can get up to 80,000 cars going through this intersection in just one day. We spoke to a driver who travels this area daily, and this is what he had to say. Just at this time of year, I, all us snowbirds are down here, and it gets very busy. And it's uh, sometimes the arrows don't stay long enough to make your left turn or your, when you're trying to turn off in Cortez on the 41. Now, what that driver hopes can be done to cut back on the number of traffic, cars on the road, co congestion, as well as crashes, we're going to be telling you coming up at 530. Reporting live in Manatee County, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Marla. Busy also these days on area golf courses. That's right. It is time again to tee it up on the Dream 18 as we showcase some of the area's best golf courses. Adam Shalini takes us to Mission Valley in Nokomis. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back out to another edition of Dream 18. I'm Adam Cellini. I'm out here at Mission Valley Country Club with Brian Dale. And uh, Brian, tell us a little bit about the uh, the hole we're playing here. Today we're going to be playing number eight, um, good par three, longish par three, um, about 190 yards from the number five tee box that we're playing today. Right. Um, plays a little uphill, so we got to make sure we get a good shot carried down the green. So maybe a club up if, if you're playing this hole? Absolutely, that'd be perfect. All right, we're going to give it a shot and uh, see how it goes here. There we go. Good yeah. shot. Very nice. That's right. That's right for the hole. Okay, so we got a makeable putt here. Great shot. Excellent shot. 12 feet for an easy birdie here. Yeah, there is no such thing as an easy birdie. I've, I've learned. Now, um, this won't be the green we're going to be seeing in, in a couple weeks, right? we got a big it renovation. Will, it will not. In just under two months, we're, we're going to be undergoing a major renovation, so we're real excited about that here at Mission Valley. Um, but yeah, everything from the tees, roughs, greens, bunkers, everything will be redone here this summer, so we're really excited. And how, about how long is that expected to take? Between five and six months. And it's going to look pristine. It's going to look awesome. awesome. <laughs> Right. Yes. Well, uh, you know what would be awesome right now would be a birdie. So All right. let's, uh, let's go let's for it. Get in there. Here. Good luck. Oh, I pulled Easy. it. Yeah, that was firm. A lot of meat on the bone here. All righty. Hey. Good par. Excellent. All right. Very nice. So able to save the par. That Good was a close par. one there. Good putt. Excellent. <laughs> so uh, Mission Valley Country Club, get your golf in now, right? Uh, end of April is when those end renovations start. Renovations coming very soon. We're excited. Um, but plenty of golf till to still be played this season as well. Absolutely. And home for days like this. Really Absolutely. beautiful out here. Absolutely. Well, Brian, thanks for uh, letting us play out thanks here. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for watching another edition of Dream 18. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. If you have MetLife Health Insurance, you may qualify for a big payout. We're going to tell you about the major mistake that is costing the insurance company millions. And next half hour at 5.30, additional reaction to yesterday's tragic school shooting in Broward County that left 17 dead and a 19-year-old suspect in handcuffs. But first, a peek at Atlanta, Georgia. Foggy out there this morning. Right now, it's 61 degrees. They should see a high today of 70. We'll see a high of 81 degrees. More on John's forecast and more local news coming up right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high performance parts and advice. This is an important medical announcement. 
Bard IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a Bard IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking an experienced broadcast engineer to provide technical support for all broadcast equipment. TV broadcast background required. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. Welcome back. This is a live shot of the Broward County Jail in Fort Lauderdale where a 19-year-old expelled student is accused of gunning down 17 people yesterday in Parkland at a high school in Broward County. Tragic story among the worst mass shootings in our nation's history. Continuing coverage throughout the morning here on ABC7, also on mysuncoast.com and our Facebook page as well, as well as Good Morning America. Stephanie? Thanks, Ray. Well, MetLife is getting ready to pony up some big bucks to retirees. The company revealed yesterday that it owes customers for annuity payments going back about 25 years. Now, an annuity, of course, is a fixed sum of money paid to someone each year, typically for the rest of their life. MetLife said a new internal review of its records shows that nearly 14,000 retirees were owed annuities that they never received and that the company admits they didn't make a good enough effort to contact them before writing off those payments as undeliverable. Now MetLife says the company has set aside more than $500 million to make good on those payments. Well, have you ever run into a serious problem at work, but maybe you're too scared to speak up about it? Well, a new app could actually help you. It's called Blind, and the app lets employees speak up about work issues while remaining anonymous. Now, it requires users to sign up their company with their company email address, but your posts are not linked back to you. It launched around three years ago, but since then, tens of thousands of employees from tech companies like Apple, Amazon, and Google have signed up. And their complaints are being heard. Just last month, Lyft began investigating complaints after accusations of improper access to writer data were actually posted on the Blind app. Well, we all want to make more money, but most of us won't ask for a raise. That's according to a new survey from a staffing firm, Robert Half. Only 39% of people negotiated their starting salary. The survey also notes that more men than women will ask for more money, and millennials are actually bolder about talking to a new boss than any other generation. Some advice, if you do want to ask for more cash, you should be prepared. Whether that is, you know, d looking up the market salary for your position, whether it's speaking to other people in that company you're trying to get hired by and asking them for their experience, the bottom line is you have to do your preparation. That is true. Experts say simply having the conversation could ultimately help your career. Every day we upload fresh content to our respective Facebook pages. Stop by and like the page and check us out every day. We'll have some behind the scenes peeks also on Instagram as well under my sun coast. Well, Amazon has dethroned the world's third most valuable company. ABC's Candace Gibson and Diane Macedo have details in this morning's Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, Amazon is now worth more than Microsoft. Amazon shares closed just over $1,451 yesterday, putting the internet retailer in third place for most valuable company in the world behind Google's parent company, Alphabet and Apple.
And Facebook's forecast isn't good when it comes to younger users. Yeah, market research company eMarketer expects the site to lose 2 million subscribers under the age of 25 to Snapchat this year. One reason, young millennials like sites that emphasize visuals. And Apple is acknowledging that its HomePod is leaving white rings on oil wood surfaces. Apple says a smart speaker's silicone base is to blame for those white rings. The company also says the white rings should fade over time after the HomePod is removed from the wood surface. And those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Tech Bites, brought to you by Delsum. This is Charlie, and this is Charlie not coughing because he took Delsum 12 hour. This is Charlie not coughing while trying not to wake Zeus. This is Charlie not coughing while sitting very still. And this is Charlie not coughing while getting a little too into Nana's party. Because he took Delsum, nothing lasts longer for powerful cough relief. Delsum, the joy of not coughing. And don't forget kids, four and up. Delsum is number one pediatrician recommended. There's only one National Orange Juice brand that only uses 100% American oranges. Simply Orange and Tropicana ship in juice from overseas. Only Florida's Natural grows all of our oranges in Florida. Great taste, naturally. I needed legal advice for my shop. That's when I remembered that my ex-ex-ex boyfriend actually went to law school, so I called him. He didn't call me back. If your ex-ex-ex boyfriend isn't a lawyer, call LegalZoom and we'll connect you with an attorney. LegalZoom, where life meets legal. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422. 800-685-6422. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. Get breaking news, plus first alert weather and traffic focused on where you live. Watch Good Morning Sun Coast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, it has been a political hot button for years. 
how politicians are reacting today to yesterday's mass shooting at a South Florida high school. And what to do if there is a mass shooting? We'll have advice that the Homeland Security suggests. All this week, we've been counting down the top five dangerous intersections on the Sun Coast, and today we're live at the second dangerous. Those stories and more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 5.30. Good morning to you on this Thursday morning, February 15th. I'm Stephanie Webb. I'm Ray Collins. You've since survived Valentine's Day, it appears. I did. Yes, I had a great date last night. Some, uh, some girl that likes Star Wars football and cooks well. Uh, sounds like it's going well. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right, we are now at 530. John Scalzi, I believe, will be talking to us later in the half hour. But first, President Trump and members of Congress are responding to that deadly school rampage in South Florida. That's right. ABC's Kenneth Moten tells us what top politicians are saying this morning about gun control after the tragedy that happened yesterday. This morning, Washington lawmakers react yet again to one of the worst mass shootings in this nation's history. We keep saying enough is enough, but then it happens again. President Trump responding not on camera, but in a tweet. My prayers and condolences to the families of the victims of the terrible Florida shooting. No child, teacher, or anyone else should ever feel unsafe in an American school. Florida Representative Frederica Wilson also tweeted, It is heartbreaking that these violent incidents continue to take place in schools, a place where our children should feel and be the most safe. If there's something out there that we can do, whether it's a law or a program or both. Of course we're going to be open to that, but it's got to work. The 18th school shooting this year, according to Every Town for Gun Safety. The rampage in Parkland, Florida, ranks among the top five deadliest. It's a bad day. Uh, once we get into the investigation, how did he acquire the weapon? These tragedies typically spark a brief debate over gun control. This is an epidemic, and, and yet Congress continues to do absolutely nothing. Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut, where so many children were shot and killed in Newtown, on the floor of the Senate. We are responsible for a level of mass atrocity that happens in this country with zero parallel. The White House has offered federal assistance to Florida officials. President Trump has no public events today, so no word if or when he'll address this latest mass shooting on camera. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. Well, three men are in custody after a separate shooting yesterday at the National Security Agency. Three people, including an NSA police officer, were injured. Now, the NSA says an unauthorized car with three men inside tried to drive onto their campus early yesterday morning. The driver of the car and one other person were injured but are expected to be okay. The FBI says they believe this was an insulated incident or, and was not terror-related. In the case of an active shooter, Homeland Security officials want you to think of three words run, hide, and fight. Also, they say leave belongings behind and leave with your hands visible so police can tell you are unarmed. If there's no exit available, find a place to hide. If possible, block the entrance of the hiding place by pushing furniture against the door. Also, turn off the lights and all electronic devices because a small noise actually could alert the shooter that you're there. As a last resort, Take physical action against the shooter. Act aggressively with a makeshift weapon. Perhaps grab whatever is handy, like scissors. And don't forget, when police enter the building, follow their orders as quickly as possible. Well, the state blood center is in need of blood this morning after responding to yesterday's mass shooting. In a statement, one blood said that the immediate needs were being met, but now they are running low on O-negative blood. They're asking eligible O-negative donors to visit a donor center or a big red bus and to please donate. All right, 534 right now. Time to lighten the load. Let's bring in our meteorologist, John Skulls. He was hopefully some good news for us. Yeah, you know, I think the morning commute's going to be nice. That's, right. that's one thing. Plus, sure. it's going to be another warm day. We don't have a lot of rainfall around, and the fog problem seems to be mostly confined to areas along the spine of the state where visibilities are really well below quarter mile in many locations. In fact, it's a problem throughout the Gulf Coast. Uh, we're looking at a school bus forecast. Looks pretty good for the pickup time this morning. 69 degrees at those bus stops, and then as we Drop them off this afternoon, 81 degrees, another warm afternoon and probably dry as well. Current fog conditions across the region, as I said, not bad along the coastline with 6 to 10 mile visibility. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in a few. All right, talk to you soon. Checking first alert traffic, 301 southbound, some buildup there. As you cross over State Road 70, let's go farther south now and check out that map. A little blip there on University westbound between Honoré and Whitfield. 
Otherwise, nothing major. Showing farther south, 41 northbound, right there where it says Osprey. Some congestion right there. We've got some more maps for you farther south by request. Looks like it's uh, pretty good so far in that area. And our final map, our fifth map, will show mostly clear at 535. Well, rush hour traffic is no joke in our area, and some spots around the Sun Coast are risky and harder to navigate through on your way to work or school. This week, our special report, we're counting down the top five most dangerous intersections. We are at number two today, awfully close number three. Let's go to 14th Street West and Cortez Road. Marla Spence is there with details. Marla? Yeah, we're finally down to our second dangerous intersection on the Sun Coast. This intersection of 14th Street West and Cortez Road West can see up to 80,000 cars daily traveling through this intersection. It's also topping the fifth, fourth and the third intersection this week, and it's all due to drivers having a higher chance of getting into a severe accident. Now, this intersection is also one of the busiest because it can direct traffic and drivers to go down US 41 North and also US 41 South. We spoke to a driver who travels in this area daily and he told me that oftentimes the signal lights aren't long enough causing more congestion and this is what he hopes to happen. I don't think they can do a lot with it. I think it's about they, they widen the, right, the lanes and uh, the turn lanes so I think it's about as best they're going to get. So far, road engineers are working together to see what can be done to resolve that issue. No word yet on whether widening the road would even be a possibility. Reporting live in Bradenton, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, thanks, Marla. Big changes are coming to the Laurel area. Several new businesses are going to be opening up, including a Starbucks, an Aldi's grocery store, and a Dunkin' Donuts. Now, Laurel used to be a pretty quiet place, but over the last year or so, it's seen a business boom. Many in the community are happy with the changes because that just means new jobs. We've become the place to be, you know, and you know that when you get a Starbucks and we have a bank on every corner. Now, those new businesses are slated to open within the next few months. A Sarasota County woman is under arrest after deputies say they discovered her 19 dogs in a makeshift kennel. The investigation began last month when animal services officers were dispatched to Northport for a report of abandoned dogs. Officers arrived to find several small breed dogs aging from four weeks to 16 years old, and they were living in wire pens and small carriers. They said the dogs were exposed to cold weather and deprived of food and clean water. Some of the dogs also had overgrown fur, nails, covered in dirt, infested with fleas. Investigators say this woman, Amy Lovering, told deputies she made the makeshift kennel for when she was out of town, and deputies learned that Lovering kept the 19 dogs in the kennel for an extended time between November and January. They charged her with cruelty to animals. Florida cities could soon lose the freedom to choose election dates under a bill passed by the Florida House. Supporters say the measure would boost turnout because cities would vote on the same day across the state. Those against the bill say local governments should retain what day is best for them. A similar Senate bill has two more committee stops before being heard by the full chamber. Now, this bill could affect the city of Sarasota, which currently holds elections in March, despite low voter turnout. But there's actually an ongoing petition drive right now to change the elections in Sarasota to November, like the rest of the world. Very interesting. More Still ahead. conversations ahead on that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Still had the rest of uh, First Alert traffic and weather. And we'll show you how to recognize early signs that a child may have the flu. And is it possible to die of a broken heart? We're going to tell you the warning signs of a real condition. It's called broken heart syndrome. 539 right now. Should be a nice day. Well, John Scalzi's Gorgeous. forecast. More news. There's a peak right there. Outside our window, high above the Rosemary District. You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast on ABC7. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, 
I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Chartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. Everything all right? Actually, you know how Tom had knee surgery? Sure. We found out Brad's been taking his painkillers. It turns out he's been doing it for a while. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Join ABC7 at the all-new 2018 edition of Circus Sarasota. Ovation under the big top at Nathan Benderson Park behind the mall at UTC. Friday, February 9th through Sunday, March 4th. All opening weekend tickets are 20% off courtesy of ABC7. To purchase your discount tickets, visit circusarts.org, the Circus Sarasota box office at the big top, or call 941-355-9805. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. Meteorologist John Scalzi. Again, great viewer photos sent in from, uh, from the sunset yesterday. Barbara from Bradenton Beach sent in this one. You can see the cold air aloft creating that kind of contrail as the uh, airplane flew through in a beautiful setting sun shot captured with a, with a boat out there on a relatively flat sea. We didn't have much of a wind yesterday, so it was nice boating weather. David McDonald, Nokomis Beach, thank you very much for that one. And Roxanne. Great shot of a setting sun under a fairly clear sky. And the Lakewood Ranch webcam continues to show not much in the way of a fog problem. You can still see the lights across the water, but you do see those low hanging clouds. And those low hanging clouds are going to be a feature this morning and probably tomorrow morning as well. 65 degrees, the air temperature, dew point to match, 100% relative humidity when that happens. And consequently, we have a potential of seeing a little bit of fog form, particularly in inland uh, Hardy and DeSoto counties, most likely. Um, Ona. Wachula, Arcadia, just keep that in the back of your mind as you commute this morning. You could come across a patch of fog that comes up on you pretty quickly out there. Otherwise, I think we're looking at a, a pretty nice day. After we burn off these morning clouds, which we will do about lunchtime today, we'll have a partly sunny and warm afternoon. 65 by 7, 678 by noon as you head out the door this afternoon. Warm temperatures again cracking the 80 degree mark most everywhere on the sun coast. And then as we head into the 7 p.m. hour, about 70 degrees or so. Another beautiful evening with what will probably be another spectacular sunset. Just a few fair weather clouds lingering this evening to reflect those setting sunset colors. By uh, this morning, we're looking at a little bit of cloud cover lingering, maybe a little patchy fog in places. Heaviest of the fog located inland and to the north of us. Then as we head into the afternoon, a lot more sunshine around. I think we'll enjoy perhaps a little shower or two in mostly inland locations, but really our rain chances very minimal. Most of us will not see any rainfall today, just as you did not yesterday.
Across the region out in Gulf waters might see a little bit of patchy fog develop toward the morning hours and perhaps be pushed back toward the coastline during tomorrow morning. Uh, we might get a little bit of a wind shift that might allow for that in the morning hours. We'll see how it plays out, but a sea fog could be a problem tomorrow morning in some areas of the Florida coastline. A big chance of thunderstorm activity today and stretching from areas of Cleveland down through Cincinnati into Indianapolis. And that is just for standard thunderstorm activity. It is not for anything severe. And the state of Florida probably won't see any thunderstorm activity at all today. Dry conditions will continue. Weather highlights include, uh, well, the frontal battery that we've had for several days now pretty much washed away across our region as high pressure has bridged over that, has built in, and has left us with this fair weather high. It does allow for upper level high pressure, which uh, is directing winds out of the northeast to produce these low hanging clouds. Though um, uh, We'll have to deal with that for a while. As this high sinks south, we develop a more southwesterly wind flow as we head into tomorrow, maybe south uh, easterly wind flow. In any event, I think it'll pump up the moisture just a little bit. We'll probably have a couple of nights of slightly cooler weather before we see that moisture return and the warm weather return as well, particularly as we head into the weekend. West wind near the coast with a sea breeze this afternoon. Talking sea breezes already again uh, this afternoon. It's kind of early for sea breezes, but there you are. 81 degrees, our daytime high today. Again, about 10 to 12 degrees above average. That'll be true for the next several days. And then as we head into next work week, we might even be up to 12 to 15 degrees warmer than average. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. Let's take a look at your first alert traffic this morning. Starting to see some congestion out there, particularly if you're heading out of Bradenton this morning in Manatee County. Got a little bit of a slowdown right there on 301, and then another slowdown heading southbound on 41. If you're heading into Sarasota County this morning, you've got a slowdown right there at University Parkway, as well as another bit of congestion right there on the corner of Fruitville and 41, which is pretty typical for this time of the morning. Now, if you're heading into South Sarasota County, we do have a little bit of a slowdown there to show you for on Clark Road, right as, as you're getting off of 75 in that spot. We've got another part of the southern area by request. We've got a little bit of a slowdown on uh, 45 and 41 right there, kind of by South Venice area, just a little bit of congestion going on this morning. And then a, far, a little farther south, those roads are still looking pretty clear so far. It's 547 and that is your first alert traffic. Well, in this hour's Health Smart, flu activity has led to 20 pediatric deaths so far this year. As Kim Hutcherson tells us, recognizing early signs makes all the difference. Young children are at risk of developing serious complications from the flu if symptoms aren't recognized and treated immediately. One of the flu strains spreading this season, H3N2, is affecting children more than usual. And that has many people asking, why is it so deadly? Sometimes it's the virus infection itself that uh, can become so severe in a person that it can uh, result in death. The flu virus weakens your immune system and, and you can get a bacterial infection on top of it. According to the CDC, the best way for parents to protect their children is to get them vaccinated every year. Being able to recognize the warning signs of the flu is also important. Among them, trouble breathing or breathing fast, bluish skin color, not waking up, not interacting, or being unusually irritable. Early detection could save your child's life. As soon as they have symptoms, and they suspect they might have flu, they should call their doctor right away because they could benefit from early treatment with antiviral drugs. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. Other medical news now. A new plan in Tallahassee would let pharmacists test and treat customers for the flu and strep throat. Pharmacists. Some pharmacists are currently allowed to administer flu shots and other vaccines. However, they are not allowed to check if a person has the flu virus. Under this plan, pharmacists could administer flu and strep throat tests and dispense appropriate medicine to address illnesses. Supporters say it's better than waiting in a doctor's office. The state house lawmaker sponsoring this bill is also a doctor. What this bill tries to achieve is to take the walking wounded, the people who are otherwise healthy, who are ill, and would like to get seen straight away, and we allow them to go to a pharmacy, be tested, and if positive, be treated. However, his measure is currently opposed by the Florida Medical Association, which represents a majority of physicians statewide. Bill supporters say doctors should not look at the legislation as creating competition, but rather as a more convenient way to help sick Floridians. Well, can you actually die of a broken heart? 
Turns out the answer is yes, and broken heart syndrome is a real condition. It occurs in response to sudden emotional stress, usually grief, and is more common in women than in men. It can actually imitate a heart attack and produce sudden heart failure. While a heart attack is often caused by a blood clot in the arteries, broken heart syndrome is caused by hormonal factors and an artery that spasms. Our Suncoast app has the latest health stories. To stay updated on stories that can affect you and your family, download our app. Just search for WWSB or My Suncoast at the App Store. Well, a new art display at the Ringling Museum of Art has been gaining recognition internationally over the last few years. This exhibit presents work by artist Hank Willis Thomas. Now, it takes an interesting look at how advertising and branding have shaped our concepts of race and gender and self by targeting us as consumers. Now, Thomas's art also explores just how advertising images, particularly stereotypes, have really changed over the past 100 years. It's um, showing us really contemporary art practice. So Hank is somebody who's interested in, in probing concepts and exploring uh, the kind of um, reality of our history and, and, and culture in the United States. Um, and he's doing it in ways that are really kind of provocative and um, inflected with humor, too. Now, support for that exhibit was provided by the Gulf Coast Community Foundation. It's going to be running until June 10th of this year. It is 551 right now. Peak outside Manatee County at uh, one of the most dangerous intersections in our area, 14th Street West and Cortez Road. A long light there, a lot of traffic during the day. Right now, relatively free and clear. We are counting down the top five all this week. We'll have more on that coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Alex Karras Lincoln's 40th anniversary sale. Drive a brand new 2018 Lincoln MKC for $279 per month or the Lincoln MKZ for $299 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, where our mission statement is consistent commitment. Every client, every time. Located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Approval was easy, and the price was right. I wanted to do this for my children. Call 800-738-9812. 800-738-9812. Thousands of award-winning Honda SUVs are on sale from $189 a month during the Honda President's Day sales event. You've got to see these SUVs. Get a surprisingly spacious 2018 HRV, $189 a month, or step up to pilot for $289 a month with available seating for eight. Plus, we have Motor Trends SUV of the Year, the 2018 CRV, and Ridgeline, a car and driver's 10 best. All on sale for up to $3,805 less than the competition at your local Honda dealer. Fact. The top three Marriott hotels in North and South America are on the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, according to a recent survey of 363 Marriott hotels, the Marriott at Grand National, the Marriott Shoals Hotel, and the Grand Hotel. And two of the top three Renaissance hotels are also on the trail, Ross Bridge in Birmingham and the Battle House in Mobile. Southern hospitality still rules. For reservations or information, visit rtjgolf.com slash resorts. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC7 Sarasota page on Facebook. Give us a like, then click following and choose see first. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your newsfeed 
and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. Here are some of the top stories that we're following for you on the Sun Coast this morning. School is canceled at a Broward County High School after a former student allegedly shot and killed 17 people yesterday. The suspect was recently expelled. Plus, the state blood center is in need of blood after responding to yesterday's mass shooting. In a statement, one blood said that the immediate needs are being met, but right now they're actually running low on O negative blood. They're asking eligible O negative blood donors to visit a local center. And coming up next in our 6 o'clock half hour, the Sarasota County Fire Department is collaborating with six other fire departments through an app that can save lives. We've got that for you coming up on Good Morning Suncoast. More on that. Yes, we'll have uh, details of that tragic shooting in Broward County. We'll count down the most dangerous intersections here on the Sun Coast and seem several are on the same area. You know, 14th Street West up there in Manatee County, an issue there at uh, Cortez. That's right. Lockwood Ridge Road is one that we're seeing a lot this week, too. Yeah. Two of our most dangerous intersections have been in that area, too. So, yeah, so we'll have uh, some live shots from Manatee County next hour right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. Also, John Scalzi's peak at the weekend forecast and much more local news. Here's a look outside our window, high above the Rosemary District. Looks like a little fog out there. Beautiful, Beautiful day ahead, though. Thanks for joining us this morning.